Hello, hello, everybody. Woohoo! Yabba dabba doo. Guess what? It's Robin Old Style Classics baseball cards coming back at you for, for the first time in a few weeks. And plenty to catch up on. Uh, plenty to get to. If you know my channel, you know that I'm a huge fan. And my favorite set every year is Alan and Ginter. And at this point in time, this came out two weeks ago. And I've opened three hobby boxes and a couple blasters, two value packs, and um, some, you know, retail packs that you get from, um, you know, out of the box, like 24 or 38 cards or whatever. So plenty of Allen and Ginter highlights to get to here coming up pretty soon. Um, and uh, didn't didn't open these on camera because I've been super busy at work. It's just now starting to wind down a little bit. Uh, this is my first weekend off in five weeks. And so I'll get to showing the highlights that I got from each box or blasters and some of the hits that I've gotten, some of the thoughts that I have, and some of the stuff that I've seen online. It's really nice, beautiful set. It's not perfect. Uh, there are some issues with it um, that I, not that I'm don't like. That just um, seems a little sparse this year on some of the stuff that they've done. Um, got some cool hits though to tell you about. Uh, the first autograph I got from Alan and Ginter, uh, the first one that I opened from 2024, was out of a blaster of all things. And then just the other night, I got another autograph. But today, I was going to go buy another hobby box and then one of these next things and something else, which I'm going to get to tonight. But what I ended up doing was um, the Mojo Break Shop down the street in Santa Clara had two of these 20, well, they had, uh, it said four boxes, and I bought two of the 2021 Allen & Ginter X because you are guaranteed one autograph per box so we'll be doing that stuff I still have this eBay that I haven't opened in a few weeks so we'll get to that in one of these videos coming up but the thing we're probably going to do today if Alan and Ginter's two weeks ago was my favorite day of the year um, probably my second favorite set of cards that you can get or type of cards is the Topps 206 if you know me, I'm a huge Tobacco Mini fan, and um, these are online exclusives from Tops. And of course, they came out around the same week as Allen and Ginter, which sucks. Um, you know, because it's a lot of money. These are relatively expensive, um, but they're always sold out. But the Mojo Break Shop had a couple of these so I picked up one uh, pretty penny and that's what we're gonna get to today so we're gonna do some of this today since I already showed you guys some Allen and Ginter's a couple weeks ago I want to get to these promised the guy at the Mojo break shop that um, I let him know what I got out of here I'll just tell him to watch the video and uh, how y'all been doing everybody hey it's been a while it's been a hot minute um, Got a few shout outs. Um, Reggie loves cardboard. Um, he's jumped on board with comment. Uh, Mark's Dodgers cards. Thank you for subscribing and commenting. Um, he, he found me through Mr. October and more. And commenting collector, of course. Diver Dave. Cloudsy420. Uh, BCS sports cards um, the most recent people who've commented not a lot of comments in the last uh, couple weeks because I haven't been putting any content out there hopefully I'll start to trickle back or I'm gonna do um, a few videos maybe tonight and release them uh, every day or so and congratulations to me I guess here on old style classics baseball cards is the fact that 
during my busy time here at work. Um, I've surpassed 200 subscribers finally. It's taken a while, but we finally did it, people. Thank you, everybody who's subscribed. I'm at 202 right now, so that's awesome. Once it gets more time, maybe I'll put together um, some kind of contest, like I've been saying, for about three or four months. But let's get to this. Let's get to it, everybody. All right, so... Uh, obviously, Tops 206 is the mini tobacco cards, uh, online exclusives now, as compared to the past ones in the early 2000s, and um, uh, like 2010, 11, around there, they did it again with the full-size cards those two times they tried to do it, um, which didn't quite work out. Now they're the uh, online exclusive, the mini tobacco cards which as you know are my favorite oh I also had a Gypsy Queen hobby box that I opened so I'll have to show you the hits that I got out of that uh, people I just couldn't wait I didn't feel like doing videos because me and my wife what little time I had we'd watch TV or something like that and but you know me I want to open cards I don't want to just sit there and wait a few weeks to get around to it so anyways now why these are so expensive is because you get, it's called, I guess it's a carton. So you get four boxes per carton, one autograph part card per carton, and X number of cards per pack. Um, let's see what we got here. I'll show you a little image, what you can get. So you know me, I love tobacco minis. Obviously, I like Alan and Ginter a little bit better, uh, but most most often the only ones you get many tobacco cards anymore are from Allen and Ginter and then Topps 206 maybe the occasional one here and there somewhere else so let's feel this make sure they didn't um, hide a card in there and so these were supposed to look like a cigarette pack they look a little bigger this time around than they used to um, and just the camera here again let's get this and so it's supposed to look like a, it's a big cigarette box as you can see there it kind of looks like old-fashioned cigarettes and um, there you go I guess I need my glasses all right people it's been a while and I'm all right once again I'm back to normal already eight minutes into it before we've shown you anything it says 40 cards I don't know if that means 40 cards per box I don't think so but let's see what we got here folks Trusty uh, cellophane wrapper remover. Let's see how we can do this without messing up this box. Because I tend to like to collect the um, packaging. And lucky for me, I was able to find some hanger boxes, value packs, of Allen & Ginter. Which I used to think was the way to go if you were into tobacco minis. And retail, like the retail exclusive golds. But now the value packs, you get 14 cards, two of them being mini tobacco cards. Or in the past, you used to get like that many cards. And um, you would get like four to six minis, so they're not doing that anymore. So I don't know if it's that great a value, but you do get a few more cards than if you just bought the two six card um, retail boxes. Whoop. All right, let's see. We're going to open this like cigarettes. A little, little tax seal, just like you would see on cigarettes. So let's give this a try. I know I can open it this way. Yeah, let's just do that. I don't know. Let's see here. I want to do one of these at least like the old cigarette style. I guess I'm not done with this. And my... What do you call it? Um, exacto knives in the other room right now. So, let's see if we got this. Sorry, folks, you know me, kind of tend to want to ramble on. So, let's see if we can get this to open like cigarette pack. It's got to get these things going. There we go. Whoop. All right, so just like pack cigarettes. In the old day, ah, I see you'd get four packs, four of these little silver packs per box. So, let's 
see what it looks like. Not much to speak of. Not the prettiest design on these um, cigarette boxes this year. But they'll do. They kind of look like the candy cigarettes that you get. And you actually still can get them at some of those candy shops that sell just, um, what do you call it, basic uh, candy cigarettes. Now, as you know, um, the backs are what's important on these. I believe you get 10 cards on one of these. And two of the 10 cards will have the, um, the variation back. So you'll get like eight eight um, base cards and two with different back anywhere from Piedmont to Ty Cobbs which are 101's, Cycle, American Beauty, Tolstoy, Polar Bear, all that kind of stuff is going to determine um, the level of short printedness and uh, I've never gotten an autograph from Topps 206 uh, these type, the, the exclusives. I mean, I do have some from the old sets that they did in the um, 2000 and 2010s, but not on the online exclusives. So this will be the first time I get an autograph. It looks like we got some color right there. So let's see how we, how we doing on focus here. All right. Let's just adjust it just right, people. Okay, okay. So first and foremost, let's see. We got uh, Jazz Chisholm Jr. there. Nice. Oh, that's Piedmont. So right off the bat, we're at the front of the pack. So we got the Piedmont. That's your first short print, but that's the lowest short print you can get after the base card. Stick that aside. Then we got one of these uh, variations. Uh, this is Pete Alonzo, and that's uh, Tops 210, so based on the T210s. Alright, is that coming in? I believe so. And that's an old mill, so that's pretty good. And I actually think we're going to get our autograph in this first box. So maybe the uh, pack on the left is the one to get. So Pete Alonzo. Alright, let's see if we're going to... Yep. I don't know, folks, should I skip this and get to the um, other packs first? Or maybe I should just hold out and get the other packs later. Alright. We'll see. We'll just go along and keep going. Rooker for the Athletics. So there you go. There's your base back versus your um, short print back. Brent Rooker, Oakland Athletics outfielder. These cards don't stick together, but they don't slide apart very easy. Jung. That Jace Jung. Josh Jung. So, really cool cards. Um, I guess the only issue is they look basically the same from year to year, so really need to kind of keep track of the uh, date on there. I don't know if we come in. Yep, 2024. So, got your code maybe in there. I don't see it. All right. All right, here we go, rookie card, Lawler. <clears throat> Lawler for the Diamondbacks. Jordan, better take a drink, people. Yep, been super busy, folks. Super busy, probably guess why. Um, and um, <clears throat> everything went mostly pretty smooth. Um, it's my first weekend off. I could have worked overtime, but I chose not to this weekend because it's been five weeks and I've, I've had enough. need some time to sleep in. Um, lots happened since the last time I did a video. 
uh, election happened. Congratulations to Donald Trump for winning. And um, yep, and it's nice to get a ton of overtime in, but I've I've had enough. I've had enough people. I'm ready to uh, go back to normal. A Veritech for the Red Sox. I don't know if my boy Andre Dawson's in here, but I do have something huge. Andre Dawson that I did um, actually pull my own self, which will have to be in one of my other videos. So, let's see, do we have any old players on this? Not yet. So these appear to be all modern players at this point. I don't see any old school ones, but I think I have seen a few. They always put Hannes Wagner in here. So Smith Schwarber, Schwarber, <coughs> Schwarber, Braves rookie, AJ. All right. And then we have a Winfield. So there we go. Maybe Dawson is going to be part of this. I don't know, but they tend to do waves. So who knows if they'll do um, another, you know, they tend to do these in waves. So. We'll see if this is just like series one, so to speak. Dave Winfield is a Padre there, so that's cool. Hall of Famer. A little Cooperstown logo right here. Have you guys missed me, or are you like tired of listening to my old episodes to put you to sleep? Well, now you got something new. <laughs> All right. And then, once again, my first ever autograph in person from somebody who's Bob Gibson. There we go with Bob Gibson. That's nice background, a little clouds. So, Bob Gibson. Cards are not numbered, so I guess you do it in alphabetical order, I suppose. 300 card set. I have to look up the, um, what do you call it, the checklist. Just looked up the Allen Ginter checklist. Finally had a chance, I believe, two days ago. And um, not a whole lot of um, <clears throat> insert sets this year. Not nearly as much, especially in the big cards. You mostly get the dogs. So Juan Marichal there. Uh, like the um, best of show the dogs. And a lot of the x-ray cards, which are cool. Um, but they tend to um, have um, gone a little white on the uh, inserts. All right, here it is, people. I believe we got ourselves an autograph. I haven't seen it yet. And boom. Hey, look at that. It's Cub. Canario. Nice. That's a pretty cool looking one. That green and blue actually looks pretty good with the rookie card logo up here. So nice. Look at that, people. My first autographed Tops 206 Mini um, from the online exclusives. Has to be a cub, huh? Alexander Canario. So that may be good. Um, we'll have to sit on it and wait. Have to get that into some kind of um. What do you, um top loader with the mini penny sleeve there. So that's pretty cool. That's awesome. So I'm glad to get a cub. So why don't we do this, folks? Um, we'll just end it on that one. Has 20 minutes. If I open the other three packs, I'm probably not going to get another autograph. Um, but I believe these are like. Oh, I didn't even open one box, huh? I still got the other three packs. Alright, so the Old Mill and the Piedmont. Alright, we're 20 minutes, so let's see. I'll set this aside. And let's at least open one more. One more, see what we get. And these could be um, made in other videos, people. You know me, I tend to do a whole crap load all at the same time. I'm going to move the first two cards to the back because it used to be the back two cards that were always the short prints, but apparently they moved in the front of the pack. A little weird. So, Max Freed. Pride. Oh, Max. 
All right, folks. Seeger. Uh, congratulations to the Dodgers winning the World Series. I guess if uh, two of the teams I dislike, um, I want to dislike less, one, so that's good. Corey Seeger. Speaking of the um, World Series champs, Clayton Kershaw. I saw a guy um, opening some Alan and Ginter online today and uh, pulled a book card with um, Clayton Kershaw, the um, Alan and Ginter booklet with the autograph and an actual patch relic, which looked really cool. So, want to see that? Go on to YouTube. And <clears throat> sorry, all the people who uh, do follow me haven't been able to watch a lot of your stuff. I have watched a few and hit like, but I haven't been able to comment either. So, I just haven't had the bandwidth. Arenado there. I like the background there. So, that might be a variation, actually. Um, some of these backgrounds that have different stuff going on there. Um, I don't... I see... They put out way too much in the same week or two. I know that these came out, Allen and Ginter came out, and then Stadium Club came out, some high-end thing. And now I think uh, Bowman Update or one of the Update Chromes or whatever came out. And I hear it's getting bashed, uh, that people aren't happy with it. But I'll tell you what, from what I've seen from Allen and Ginter and some of the stuff that I've picked up, I think... And this little November releases of uh, Tops, Alan and Ginter has been huge. I've seen some huge stuff come out of Alan and Ginter. So you might want to keep that in mind when you're making a decision between Ginter, Stadium Club, Chrome, Update. Uh, seems like the Ginter's uh, the one giving away a lot of good stuff. And that's good for me because, you know, Alan and Ginter is my favorite. On old style classics baseball cards. Haven't done that in a while. Um, and I was talking to the guy at Mojo Break Shop when I picked this stuff up earlier. Um, I said, Hey, how's the Allen and Ginter been doing? He's like, Oh, dude, it's our still our number one seller, even with those other stuff coming out. So Allen and Ginter is apparently doing good, and that is a high volume break shop. So, all right, here we go. Say a Suzuki. That's cool. Glad to have that. Alright, what do we got here? These cards do not slide past each other. Ralph Kiner. <coughs> I guess Mangini is the um, sports card president. I haven't seen any. I saw that kind of leading up to it. But people are responding as if he, he is, so... Uh, that's as much as I know about any of that. All right, here's a nice one, folks. Bob Gibson. And a um, guy I was working with, driving around with for the last month. He's gone with me multiple times, pick up some cards and stuff, and I think he's kind of got back into picking up some cards that first day when we went in there and grabbed all those um, Allen and Ginters they had sitting there for free. Um, he picked up, like, Willie Mays and stuff. So, a new uh, hits leader or home or whatever batting average leader Josh Gibson so I think I brought a new guy well he's collected cards in the past here and there but I got a new guy back in the hobby um, I think he's leaning a little more towards basketball because he's a Warriors fan but hey got somebody in there and uh, this is one of his favorites that he was able to pick up and uh, Willie Mays on the Allen and Ginter so here we go, Willie Mays, Tops 206. Um, people, my computer is running super slow. I do not know, know what's going on, but that's okay because I think with all this overtime, I'm going to be getting me a new laptop uh, because this one is, it's, it's okay. It's a little slow to like start up, but can't do Windows 11 and they're going to stop supporting 10, which is what I have on there. So, um... When I get some more free time, I'll probably find me a decent computer. Maybe spend about twice as much as I did on this one. Alright, here we go. Short Prince Hernandez. 
What do we got? A polar bear. Urgh. All right, polar bear. Nice. And there's a tops 210. There you go, Jer Jeter. So we got a Jeter. Um, Jason Aaron Goldberg. There you go. Tops 210. And an old mill nonetheless. So there it is, folks. Old mill. Old mill on the 210s. Piedmont. And the polar rear. I think it's it's either in this order of lowest short print, obviously, after a base. And then this. Or it's like this. So I'll have to look it up on old baseball cardpedia. But hey, people, that's pretty nice stuff. There are some minis, which love. Go along with all these Allen and Ginters. Got some Allen and Ginter stories to tell you about some of the cards I've been able to pick up and um, for free nonetheless. And look at that, my first autograph. Tops 206, non-mini framed from the early versions that they used to have. And it's fitting because I showed a lot of my Tops 206s from the past and recent videos. So they're not too hard to find if you're into this stuff. If you want to see what the modern ones are versus the one from about 15 years ago or 20, geez, almost 25 years ago, um, you can check out my recent videos. Hey, and thanks. Rob at Old Style Classics Baseball Cards, slowly but surely, going to be coming back. And as they say on airplane, don't call me Shirley. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Take care. Bye.